All right, so today we're talking Cosworth. Little four banger, look at that honey. So this thing made like 110 at the wheel in stock form. I mean, not even trying, really shit tune up, whatever. Um, I put a bigger crank, stroked it and everything else, got 2.58 liters out of this and uh, got 190 at the wheel. Um, circle track car, endurance racing, banned from three tracks now. Um, yeah, and it is a race car. I know people are looking at it like, oh, is that, is that really a race car? Yeah, it's a race car and it's earned its keep. A little proof. All of these trophies except one come from that car. That's right, it's a race car. And it was a damn good one for going in circles. So anyway, we tweaked that little snotty engine. And uh, we were held hostage to using the stock injection and fuel system. So we could only do so much of what we had. So I'm in the process of cutting the intake, putting some individual throttle, throttle bodies on it and, and EFI. Uh, and then I'm going to get rid of the distributor and go electronic. So that hopefully will yield about 220 to 230 at the wheel when I'm done doing that. Uh, maybe even 220, I don't know. 220, I'm thinking. I don't know. Horsepower is horsepower. So anyway, there's the Cosworth. And for you people who don't like Cosworths or don't care about them, you might as well turn the video off now. But this is the best car in the world. Hands down. And yes, this one, well, it's a shift stick. It makes it even better. What would make it even better if it was a 2.5? And if it was an Evo, it would be even better than that. So anyway, hiding over here, I have a little red 190 with a body kit I got shipped in from the Netherlands. A friend of mine I sold some cars to return the favor and found this for me. And I just love the red. The red and the black. It's a 2-liter stick. I put the two-tone Wakaro interior in it. Set it off. And I just really like this car. But it's a two liter. What are you gonna do with a two liter? I'll show you what I'm gonna do with a two liter. I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. And what we're gonna try to do is take this C32 supercharged V6 engine and stuff it in. So right now we're using a donor parts car I had in the yard for fitment. So if we make it work here, we'll make it work there. Um, Clean in stage two, probably 425 horsepower, which is more than that car I'll ever need. Uh, that's not going to be a race car. That's going to be a fun car. We're putting a five-speed manual gearbox in it. And that's the road we're looking to travel. Now, <clears throat> if I get to a point where that is too much of a pain in the ass waste of time and it's going to ruin the car, then I'm just going to put a Cosworth in that. And God knows I have enough of them. That's right, Cosworth heads. One, two, three, four, blah, 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 whatever. I got a bunch of them. I got a bunch of them. And I recently went into the hidden treasure trove and dug at all my Cosworth stuff. All of it. And, oh, look at this. So three sets of these are performance camshafts, and the rest of them are stock. One set's for a 2.5, one set's for a 2.3, very similar. Um, the intakes, two of them are 2.5s, three of them are 2.3s. There is a difference between them. You know, this is the stuff you don't hear about, you know. Everybody talks about these cars and these engines, but nobody really takes them all apart and notices the change over the years and the differences. And I'm not gonna sit there and give anybody a lesson on that, because I'll be honest, I've had this stuff stowed away for about two, three years now, and I forgot all of the little differences. And, you know, I know the early Euro spec had more compression. Um, but what I'm doing is, I'm going to go through all my Cosworth stuff, um, and I'm gonna see how many engines I can build. Now I have one, two, three crank here. I have two, two, five cranks at the crank shop and take a look at that. That's right. 
that's a 2.5 Cosworth valve cover. Here in the States, that's, that's like, holy crap, you know what I'm saying? If you're a Cosworth guy. So I'm in the process of digging out all of the engine blocks I have laying around and considering I take a stock 2.3 block and stroke it everything and make a Cosworth out of it, I'm in good shape. Because I have, I have actually one engine here. This is a 1985 Euro spec engine. I know it's dark, but that made 185 horsepower stock at the crank. Um, the compression's a little higher than that of an American engine. And I have three blocks back there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blocks, all of the pistons, cranks, and rods. I'm going to line everything up to see how many long blocks I can build. Um, that is an AMG 190 stick. If anybody's interested, it's for sale. I don't know. It needs work. But it's all there. Make me an offer. Um, so, what I've been doing is kind of collecting things. And when I find out that parts are becoming obsolete, I go and buy them up. I try to buy things that, that you know, I know are going to be a problem for a, for a guy like me building engines so I stocked myself up pretty well I know it's a mess right now I know it looks like trash or if you're like me you just you're like in love you're looking at this stuff and you're knowing what I have here and what I can do with it and it's pretty impressive so I'm gonna try to punk out about five long blocks and no, I'm not selling any one of them. I was offered $10,000 for that one in my car. No, I'm not selling it. So what I have to do is I have, uh, I have probably seven usable heads. So maybe, maybe I could build seven Cosworths. I don't know. But I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission, and the mission is Cosworth. And again, if you're not into the car, well, you don't know about the car, but if you're not into the car, then you don't give a rat's ass about this video. But if you're into the car, you are in all, all right now about what it is I have lying in front of me. Because this is pretty insane. This is pretty, pretty, pretty insane. And there's more, I have more. I haven't really got into the bottom of everything. But my plan is to build as many of these engines as I possibly can line them up, wrap them in plastic and put them away till I figure out what I'm going to do with them um so yeah, Cosworth stuff if anybody has some hard to get Cosworth stuff for sale I mean I'm not going to pay ridiculous pricing but I'll buy it and, and what I can't stand is I see these knuckleheads they take a complete Cosworth and they they say, oh, oh, the parts are worth so much money. Let me strip this car and sell it in parts. I got news for you. You are committing a sin. You're taking a car, even a beat up Cosworth is worth 7,500 bucks. If you think you're gonna get $7,500 out of a Cosworth in parts, you're on crack. Not gonna happen. You can see these heads up for $1,500 all day long. How many are really selling? How many really leave? And what are they really getting for them? So, do the world a favor. If you have a Cosworth that's somewhat complete, right, a 190E16 valve of any sort, do not sell it in parts. Do not take it apart. Put it together. Because I got news for you, in five to 10 years, probably more likely 10 years, these cars are gonna be 50 to 100 grand and you're gonna be kicking yourself in the ass for it. That's right, think about it. These kids playing video games today love these cars. And if that holds true, when these knucklehead kids who play video games all day start making money, they're gonna to wanna to have one of these. And guess what? All of them are gonna want one. And there's not that many around, so that drives the price up. So I'm getting prepared to build as many of these cars as I can. I think I have about five complete cars four or five, depending on how you look at it. Because the race car really doesn't count. Because I would never destroy a perfectly good Cosworth for circle track. So that, that was a regular 190 body with a Cosworth engine. 
that slipped under the radar for eight years of racing. Um, yeah, all right, whatever. Oh, the 340. I love my 340. Square. Square engine. King cranks. Anyway, um, all right, I'm tired. Very, very tired. Going home. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Cosworth overview. Feel free to comment, say stupid shit like a lot of people do, and enjoy.